fence out here. We're going to put this brace in the ground. This is kind of what we call a hidden brace. We're going to bury it in front of the pole so when it pulls against it, it's going to hit this board in here. And the sand will hold everything in place. As you can see, it don't take much to dig out here. Sand is so soft and everything. We just take these old fence posts, drop it in the hole. So then when we tie the fence to it and pull, it's going to hit this board. You know, a lot of fences you see what they call an H brace. It comes across here and goes back down. With this, you don't have to do that. And since this is just a backyard fence, uh, we consider it a temporary fence. It doesn't have to be that strong. So we're not going to stretch the fence. Piano string tight, if you know what I mean. So all we have to do now is cover this up. And this end of the fence is pretty much done. I still need to adjust the gate where it hits the latch right. That's going to be real easy. Look how easy that sand moves out here. That's one brace. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for sand making it so easy to dig, that would be a long project if it was clay. But you can see it just kind of hides the brace. You can't see what it is. So we're going to go cut a post for this one. We're going to get that brace with an H brace down that end. A small one. It don't have to be big. Cause like I said, it's a short distance and it's just a temporary fence. We're down here in my pole collection where we get our posts from. I've got this old 4x4 post. It's not much good for anything else, but we're going to use it for an H brace, the top of the H. So we're going to take this one down, down there. top part of that don't have to be real strong I've got this old cedar tree down here that we've we cut oh, I don't know last year something like that I'm gonna make a post out of it it's still pretty strong I know the cedar in this area is not real good for post but for what I'm gonna use it for in the backyard it's gonna work and uh, I think it'll look better than a big old telephone pole don't you so I'm gonna cut it in two places and we'll stand it up and look at it all right you ready I sharpened that. <laughs> it works pretty good. All right, here's my other line. All right, that worked out pretty good. Let's see how this post looks. Yeah, that'll make a good post because we're gonna put it in the ground three feet we're gonna have five feet sticking up yeah I can always put the crooked part in the ground if I wanted to As you can see with a it's a good it's a cedar post oh we had a couple of wasp nests on it <laughs> good thing they're not active <laughs> that would have got me As you can see it's still got a pretty good heart on it see the heart so it'll be strong for a few years Let's put that in a four-wheeler. We're going to take it up to the house. It's still pretty heavy. We lost our recording, so we're going to try a little voice over here. As you can see, I got the dreaded tool, the old post hole digger. I got me a string strung trying to get my fence straight. So we're going to try to dig this post hole so we can set our first post, our cedar post that we cut down in the woods. So we're going to get it three feet deep and see how it does. All right, I think we're ready to put our top brace in. You see I drilled some holes in the end of it and I drilled some holes in each post and we're going to put an old broken bolt to hold it in place. You see it goes in the tree here like that and then I've got one down at this end. Looks like I'm gonna have to drill that one just a little bit deeper. A bolt's about that much too long, but y'all get the idea. We'll put that across there. We'll put us a wire up here and we'll fill it in. But I need to drill that hole just a little deeper. I 
All right, let's tap it down a little bit. Let's tap the dirt on down to take any air pockets out. All right, only thing left is I gotta put a wire from the base of that post up here to pull this top so when I pull the fence, it won't pull over. That looks pretty good. That's what they call an H brace. Well, we're back out here working on the fence after lunch a little bit. We got our brace put in, it's good and tight. We got our wire down at the base of that tied up to this that kind of holds it all together. As you can see, it's pretty sturdy. It ain't going anywhere, so we can pull our wire tight that way. We measured out 32 feet of wire. We got to staple it to this post, get it a little secure, and we'll start stretching it a little bit. And Sandy let Abby out. Oh, I wish I could take this gate off, but there's so many things I'd have to undo I'm probably better off just working around it. That's been there for years. Yeah, I know. Sandy's going back into that electric fence over there. It's going to get her, isn't it? Got plants everywhere in the way. All right, now let's see if we can get one in the bottom. These staples don't pull out very easily. See the barbs on them? That holds it in a little better once you drive them in. They won't hardly come out. Well, now we got to see if we can pull this fence a little tighter. And I've got a homemade fence stretcher. You can buy these in a store. They're any, anywhere from 75 to several hundred dollars. Uh, this one's made out of scrap wood and a few hooks and some bolts. And what we do is we just pierce the wire between this, we squeeze it like a sandwich, and then I'll wrap my winch around it, and we're going to give the fence a little bit of a pull. You can't give it very much of a pull because it's just a light-duty fence. So let's get all these off and get it separated and get it hooked up. See, this is something Sandy could have been doing for me while I was doing something else. I have used this on all of my fences out here. It'll give up the ghost one day. And when you're working around sand, you find something to put your nuts and bolts in so you don't lose them. All right, we're gonna have to sandwich this around. And let's see, I think I want it this way. Yeah, and I want it about right there. All right, that'll work. I brought a wrench with me. Didn't I? Oh, there it is. <laughs> It'll bit you too. Oh, goodness. So, what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing the wire between two boards when I start pulling on it it'll pull it evenly and won't tear up the wire now you can get crazy and pull quite a bit with it and mess it up it don't have to be that that good okay and then we'll wrap our winch around it You're gonna have to come out a little farther. OK. 
Okay. that about in the middle. Alright, let's see if it'll pull it in a little bit. I gotta get this off the top of the fence. We just gotta remember you put too much pull on it. I pull all them staples out, pull the fence post over. Let's see how it does. Well, it's straightening it up a little bit. So we got the top pulled just a little more than the bottom, but the bottom's pretty tight. I think we're gonna leave it right there. Okay. The next thing to do is to take this, go around the post, strip it and twist it together, and then take all that off. I think Sandy's gonna do the rest of it for me. I'm going in for a glass of tea. We're almost finished uh, tying this fence off. We got two more to go. We're gonna get through here and get it tied off. <laughs> Shelby, there's no food in there, dear. <laughs> Just wrap it around there so it won't come pull it back off got somebody helping over there in the four-wheeler huh all right that's all tied up now we can take the pressure of the four-wheeler off Good thing there was no nuts and bolts in that. All right. Oh, I see I got one more I hadn't tied off. That's it. Okay, so all we're gonna do is take this board off. It put a little slack in the fence, not much. We'll tie it to the fence post. It'll be good, it's better than the fence that was up there, isn't it, Sandy? Yeah, I gotta bend these ears down a little bit more. And you just take your screwdriver and put it in it. And it's done. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to put about four in each one. somebody over there playing oh big goat okay so all we got left is a few more clips to put in on the fence and take this off and adjust the gate what do you say Sounds great. does that look okay nah it ain't gonna hurt ain't nothing over there all right well let's wrap this up i'm gonna put those last few clips in and we're gonna call this a day Goodness, sunshine. Ooh, that's bright. There we go. Hot dog. Anyway, we thank y'all for following us along, watching what we're getting into today. Hope you enjoyed it. Me and Shelby enjoyed it. We got a lot done, didn't we, Shelby? Hi, little girl. <laughs>
she's always out here helping. Anyway, please subscribe. Y'all have a great day.